Hey folks, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. So I'm back with another cool gadget I'm going to install into my solar system. So if you've followed me for any length of time, you know I use the Bogart Engineering Trimetric TM2030-RV battery monitor system. Um, and I mate that with their uh, solar controller. And I've had these two working in my system as my, the heart of my boondocking system, solar charging system, for over four years now. I've been quite happy with them. It's a very simple uh, PWM type controller. It's not the fancy MPPT controller. But at the time that I bought it, um, you could get this much cheaper. Um, and it does a pretty good job. I was able to, to invest my money elsewhere in my system in, in extra panels and batteries with the savings. Um, nowadays the MPPT controllers have dropped a lot in price, but uh, um, this is still a good solid little controller for a small system. So I'm happy with mine and I've been, I've been using it and, and I still plan to keep it. And I've been really happy with the trimetric monitor. Um, the only thing is a lot of the new monitors are coming with a uh, Bluetooth connection so you can monitor your uh, your charging parameters and uh, your, you know your amp hours in and out through your through your smartphone so the folks at Bogart recently have come out with a new product it's a Wi-Fi module that plugs in to any any of their trimetric monitors as long as the firmware is is over um, the trimetric has to have a firmware newer than 2.5 and to work with the, if you have one of the controllers, that's a firmware higher than nine or higher. So, what happened is, uh, I guess a Bogart guy saw a recent video I did. So he emailed me and offered to send me out one of these for free for review. Um, I didn't solicit any of this from him. He just emailed and asked if I would review his new gadget here, the wireless monitor. And uh, he asked uh, about my uh, firmware. Um, situation and being it was four years old, I had quite old firmware, so he was actually kind enough to send out two new units rather than the pain of me taking everything apart and sending it back to them to get the firmware flashed. Uh, you can do that if you have either one of these. You can send send them the both back, or just if you just have the one. And it, I think he does it for thirty five dollars, and then he he ships it back for free. So anyway, I am going to install these and take out my old ones and then I'm going to install this new Wi-Fi module. So let's get a closer look at that. If you want any information about these I'll link to my my original install video and you can see how these made it together and were installed. So this is WF2030 wireless module for Trimetric TM2030 and allows remote access to the battery monitor and also the charge controller if you have it from any Wi-Fi equipped device. So that's a little different than a lot of them are using Bluetooth which has a limited range with and you can just you have to download an app to use it. This thing because it's Wi-Fi you just need a web browser and you can go to an address and then you can you can monitor the stuff in there. And also Wi-Fi has a bit a bit of extra range in it so you can kind of do it further away. So I think that was a pretty good choice of them to go with Wi-Fi versus Bluetooth. Bluetooth can be kind of flaky sometimes too. But anyway, I'm just going to pop this apart and we'll have a little look inside there. There's a few things you have to do to set it up. They include the, the hookup wires here. Okay, there's the cover off and you can see a terminal block in here. So I'm just going to need to, to hook, do a hookup wire and hook up uh, V plus and ground. Basically you're providing power to this little box module from your trimetric existing trimetric monitor right there so you just get sending power and ground over to this very easy and then there's a telephone hookup wire that you would plug in to the trimetric monitor and then if you do have the controller you can plug the controller so it basically sits in in between uh, the two and then it then it can uh, report on all the functions that go on here because anybody that's had this uh, or monitor, they know that you have to go through and hit select and push and push and push and kind of when you want to read out your data. Whereas with this thing, it'll send it to a web page and it'll be really easy to, to monitor all, everything that's going on with your, your charging system. Also, 
because this does maintain a history, um, I think a four-day history, you're going to be able to get a history of, of what's gone on with your input and output of your solar and input output of your battery system. So I think that's going to be pretty interesting. So I'll hook up those wires. There's a, a jumper to pull off and then I'll pull the fuse on my trimetric and then I can uh, put the fuse back, put the jumper back and this thing should get live and then we'll, we'll have to get a web browser. So let me go install this behind where my existing trimetric is. And I'm going to have to replace the old Trimetric and the old Bogart with these uh, newer, up-to-date uh, firmware ones. First thing I did was swap out the old uh, revision of the Bogart controller with the new updated firmware one. I think this thing I'm going to find a, a use for this. Um, I may turn this into a, a DC to DC converter um, so I can run power from my truck's alternator into this and then be charging at 30 amps as I'm going down the road. Be an interesting mod for a, a future video. Anyway, that's installed there. So we'll go in and we'll, I'll swap out the trimetric battery monitor and install the Wi-Fi module where I have my gear um, inside my bathroom wall. So let's go up there, I'll show you that. So here's my hookup of the Bogart Wi-Fi module. Um, you remember in a previous video I made this access panel for my solar wiring and for my trimetric monitor. So I've uh, put the Bogart Wi-Fi wi uh, unit sender back in here. Um, took the data cable that comes from the Bogart controller um, and inserted it into that. And then on the other port there's the included cable that goes from that down to the trimetric monitor. Um, for power, it needed there, inside there, there was a, a positive and negative 12 volt, and that's what one of these wires is, and then it just goes into the terminal block on the trimetric. So it draws its 12 volt from the monitor, which is drawing its 12 volt through a, a line that goes all the way to my battery compartment. Um, so I just had to pull a fuse on that so that there was no power while I was hooking things up. And in here there's a small little jumper that you uh, you take out, you put the fuse back, you put the jumper back, and then everything gets power after you've finished wiring everything up and making sure there's no shorts or anything like that. So it's going to be really convenient. Everything's going to just live back there. Um, it does, because the now you, now you can use the Wi-Fi monitor to look on your phone or your computer you don't really have to have the trimetric monitor in a location that's easily seen or anything so you could actually have it out of the living area because sometimes it's hard to run the wires from where your batteries or your solar controller is somewhere in the rig so that's one perk of having that so we'll put that back in place and then we can get a look at things see how they're working there we go all back in place neat and tidy so yeah, the advantage of this Wi-Fi module now is I'm not going to have to sit here and push all these buttons to go and look at everything. Like I have to hold that and look at my amp hours, you know, and go through all the data that it's putting out. Like for instance, right now we're getting 9.7 amps of solar, and also I will to set this up. You just, you just have to go through these buttons and hold the two and adjust it. Now I'm going to be able to go through a web browser and set up this monitor so everything works properly and I can read the data. So that's going to be really neat. So let's go on to a screenshot of the web browser and I'll, let, I'll show you the interface that they use. Here we go. So I've pulled up the page on my laptop web browser here. Like I say, you can use a phone's web browser as well. And I went to this address, HTTP colon slash slash WF2030 and that's because I put it through my my router called that the SSID's name Raven. Um, if you don't do that you can go straight to the the Wi-Fi module by using a, a IP address number. So I'll just go through and show you what's involved in here. There's a setup you can change this from light mode to dark mode. You can put in your number of uh, controllers. I just have one, but you have the option of using two with this system. So you could have go from 31 amps to 62 total amps. 
um, update rate for the data pages here. And then down here, here's the Wi-Fi setup. So um, you can set it up in station mode or AP mode. So uh, I've used it through my access point a, a station mode here. So it, it goes through my router. That's uh, so I, I can, it gives me a little bit uh, bigger range because my router sits on the roof. So that's why I did that. But either way, you can uh, get to that. And down here is where you put the, the SSID of your your internet router and a password, save Wi-Fi. Down here we have the firmware and the uptime. Just go back to the main menu here. And so one cool thing, I, like I say, is you don't have to go through and push buttons on your on your trimetric battery monitor. You can set all the parameters right here. You can see I've, I've set mine. Mine are missing some of the ones you would use for lead acid because I'm, I'm using this to uh, to charge my lithium battery system. So it's a little different than, than the lead acid AGM type. But anyway, I'll just give you a quick look. If I go over, say, battery capacity, I just have it set for 300 amp hours. If you click that, you could just go put a new value in and save it. Simple as that. Anything along, along here. So that really speeds up setting up configuring your your trimetric monitor or going in and changing things if you want to try different different voltages and stuff see how it works back to the main menu here and here we have the data so that's that's showing you completely rather than going in and pushing buttons on the monitor you got it all in a nice table here so you can see right now my solar current that's coming in is 29.7 amps and pretty well it's a really sunny day here in the desert I got all my panels out, so I'm pretty well maxing out my controller there. Um, there's the, the voltage and the current that's actually going into the batteries is 23, 22 there, because we're using some right now. We're both on our computers and whatever we're using in the RV. Here's my capacity full, so we're at 82% capacity charging. Amp hours from full, so I still have to put in 55.5 amp hours before we'll be back to 100% charge. And then I guess the watts they're they're going in, so that's really neat. Like I say, you can just look at that on your phone or your computer. Um, you can set it up to go um, elsewhere in the world. Um, this is more for advanced users. Uh, you'd have to set up some um, security protections, like a, a virtual private network or something, because you're letting the outside world in into your router system. So. Um, that's a little more complicated. So advanced users will be able to do that, though, and then they could be anywhere that they can get online. They'd be able to check their uh, their uh, trimetric monitor and see what's going on with their system. There's also these history pages. Um, I really haven't had it running enough yet for it to to do much, but uh, it it shows you five different cycles or days here in the history. And this used to be really difficult to access. With, with the controller now it's very easy to access so there you go that's very neat nice little package um, let me just show you I'll put this link in the description it's to the Bogart page and this is their latest information on it because this WF 2030 Wi-Fi module just got released this month for sale and it shows they're shipping it at introductory price of $99 including shipping in the US so they also have a deal on the whole kit, like I, all the battery monitor system kit and the module for 400. So yeah, you can uh, look through that page. <clears throat> also, um, people that have owned the TriMetric, you might be interested in the firmware updates down here. They have most recent is January 2020. They've, they've got some new firmware updates for the, the monitors and the controllers and stuff like that. There it is, how it looks like on the phone. So uh, that's a pretty neat little gadget. Thanks to Bogart for sending it out so I could test it and install it and review it for you guys. And also thanks to them for sending out those updated firmware items. Um, I'll use it for the rest of my boondocking season here. We've still got a couple more months in the Southwest and I'll come back and um, let you know how it performed. Till next time, Ray from loveyourrv.com. Thanks for watching everyone. Cheers.